In this matter, there is evidence in the case that a jury could weigh that the statements were made by the defendant, that the statements were about the plaintiff, that the statement was published, that the statement is false. Judge Penny Ascarit and pretty much the rest of the world have shunned Amber's tactics of avoiding the $10 million payment in damages to Depp when the judge has outrightly ruled that Amber Heard must pay Johnny Depp. Judge Azakarit also stated that Heard must pay the entire $10.35 million of the judgment plus $480,000 if she were to file an appeal. This means that if Amber doesn't pay Depp quickly, she might as well kiss her appeal goodbye. Moreover, the case will be moved to the Court of Appeals of Virginia after 21 days and both parties will have 30 days to file an appeal notice. Well, we could assume that by celebrity standards, $10 million is a massive sum of money. And with Amber Heard being found guilty on all three counts of defamation, the Virginia the jury ultimately ruled that Johnny Depp be given a huge payout. But the question is, what if she can't produce all these millions? People recently spoke to legal analyst Emily D. Baker, who offered insight on what might happen if Depp insists on enforcing the judgment for that sum. As she put it, if they do want to enforce the judgment, that starts a whole separate process in court of potentially attaching property and setting up ways it has to be paid, I imagine, and if I'm Team Depp, this is what I would do. They'd look at getting an injunction to stop Amber Heard from repeating statements that the jury found were defamatory and then stipulating that the payments won't be made and there won't be any judgment outstanding. If Amber is hoping to have an appeal and perhaps slightly increase her chance of winning, she has to pay her bills. Like this video. Stay updated for more.